In this presentation, I'll show you how to mount a sample in a capillary. So here I have the very thin capillary and I have a tube that is normally used for determining the melting point. So this gives some stability to the tube, uh, to, the, to the capillary here. It is extremely fragile, as you might guess. So the idea is you put your capillary into the melting point tube and then you have better integrity, so now you can hold on to it. Then you take a little bit of powder, and here the idea is the less you can have, the better the chances that it doesn't get stuck on the way down. So I have a little bit of powder now, and then basically I try to get to the bottom. One thing you can do is, if you have something with a riffled surface here, you can basically just have it move on the outer part of the melting point and as you may see this actually this motion this vibration is making it quite easy for the sample to move into the bottom of the capillary so you just repeat this until the capillary is full so take a little more sample and in order to make this easy for myself, I have actually cheated a little bit. I've taken a relatively large, large sized capillary. Um, now you should actually ideally use a uh, capillary with the lap six, with the same size as you want to measure your sample. And here you have to be a little bit careful because the lap six is heavily absorbing. So typically you would have to use uh, the lap six mixed with for instance diamond powder in order to avoid the uh, heavy absorption so you see now i have the capillary relatively full at the bottom here so that's perfect i can mount this and then perform a measurement